the previous Heat video, we showed you how to activate Heat in Pro Tools. Heat was created by legendary designer Dave Hill, creator of the renowned Crane Song product line and the Phoenix Analog Simulation plugin. However, unlike a single point processing plugin, Heat works organically, processing across all channels in a consistent, parallel way. The result is a more analog like quality that you could expect from a single 2 inch tape machine or a large analog console. Unlike the original devices, however, Heat allows numerous coloration alternatives over your mix. Let's go ahead and take a listen to a composition by Alex Van Gills, performed by the UNC Big Band and recorded here at SoundPure by Chris. Let's take a listen when we turn the drive control counterclockwise, which adds harmonic distortion, which emulates tape-based recording. The counterclockwise motion has a more subtle effect on the material than the clockwise motion of the drive control. I will settle on a setting around 9 o'clock. Moving the tone control clockwise, I can give the material a little more brightness and clarity. Now let's listen with Heat Bypass. You can also make every channel in heat pre or post fader. When the channels are post fader, it affects the level of the signal that hits heat, making it more or less based upon the level of your fader. In pre fader mode, the position of the fader has no effect on how it activates heat. It only depends on the level and frequency of the original recorded material. Let's take a listen to this recording with the drive control clockwise for a more aggressive setting, which emulates analog tube gear. Even with the drive around 5 o'clock in the more aggressive mode, it still yields subtle and beneficial results. Let's take a listen with heat bypass.
Thanks for checking out our heat video. Be sure and check out the rest of the videos we've done on heat. Call any of us over here at SoundPure if you have any questions about heat or any other Avid products that we carry.